Hey friends, my name is Jen Brandt and I am a boards advisor for the page and I am going to be going over how to create a board for yourself. All the basics that you need to know for those of you who are brand new to the page, don't know where to start, I'm going to be going over those things with you. So this is my advisor board here. Um, this is how I have it set up. I have an image, I have folders, I have a page. This is what our boards look like. And we're going to be creating one together over here to the left-hand side. You're going to see a list of boards here. The ones at the very top, those are my personal ones. If you are on your phone, you are working from your phone, you're going to be able to reorder these in the order that you want. So I was able to drag all of the ones that I wanted up to the top. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dive in. I'm going to see this at the very bottom. It says create boards. Remember, I am working from a desktop version. So the desktop will be slightly different, even with some of the options that we're going to be going over from your phone. Um, but just remember, if there's something that you see that I'm doing and you want to be able to do that, then you'll have to get on the desktop version to do it. Honestly, when you're creating pages and you're creating some of these, these things, it is easier to work from your desktop, but it is very handy. The whole purpose of having boards is having everything at your fingertips. And I do a lot of content and, and create things just from my phone as well. So I'm going to click on create board. And up here in the left-hand corner, it says my board. We are going to type in creating board. So you're going to put the title of whatever you want for your board. This is where you're going to do that. You can even change your emoji. And let's just do, um, I don't know, let's do an avocado because this could be maybe you're making a recipe folder or a board, or maybe you're going to be dumping some um, your plan, your meal plans for the week in here. There. There's so many things that you can do with boards and every one of us that is here, we're using it all differently. So the options is endless. Um, over here, we're gonna move over to the right-hand side. You can see um, we have this add button with the plus sign. This is what we're gonna be using to create our content. Um, we have a share button. If you wanted to share your board with someone, remember, if you are sharing, from this button here, they will be able to see your board, but they're not going to be able to copy and paste it. If you want them to be able to have access to your information, they're not going to be able to change it on you unless you set it up that way, but you'll be able to allow them to copy and paste it to their own board so that way they can change it and make it for them. So you're going to click on add members. This is where you are sharing with a particular person. You can write their email in there. Or what I do is I use this little toggle copy link and then I send the link and allow them to <clears throat> enter their email in there so that way they have access to my board. This gives them permission to go in there, copy, paste, over to their board so that way they can edit it. And a lot of people like to use my content as a template. So that is something that you can do for someone else. Now we're going to click on add. We're going to create folders. Um, <clears throat> let's just say that the first folder that we are going to do is product photos of maybe uh, your brand, whatever it is that it, you're selling or photos that you may just want to get off your phone. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go back out. We have created a folder. It is as simple as that. We're going to go in there. We're going to do another one because I want to show you what they look like side by side. So I do a lot of mock parties for my team. So we're going to do mock parties and let's just add maybe one more. Let's do um, <clears throat> training material maybe. So like trainings, that would be a good one. A lot of us can put our trainings in a folder. So as you can see, there's going to be two rows. And as you organize your boards, you're going to be making folders to put your information in. Now, <clears throat> Let's go back into the first one here again, you can change your emoji to um, different things here. Say you don't like what is there. Let's just say we are doing in the direct sales for healthy eating and um, I want food. I want food as my emojis. You can put whatever it is that you want. So 
That is how you create boards. So then product photos, you are going to go in here. You're going to click on image for your photos. And the only image that I have right here to share with you is this one. So we'll just use this. It's a mom um, image from Mother's Day. And you can stack your photos in there. And you're able to you know, change the order that you want them. Say there's a particular order. If you have like day one, day two or something, you can do that. You can, um, and it does the two rows. So this is how you upload an image to your boards. Now let's go to the mock party. Let's say in your mock party, you do some type of, um, well, actually let's go out of that. Let's just make one all together on your main board. Let's do a page of some sort. Say maybe you're making a welcome page for a team member or a, a product. I just clicked on page. This is where I love desktop version because I'm able to see as I'm doing my work, I'm able to see to the right-hand side what it will look like. From your phone, you will be able to do that too, but you got to click back and forth to be able to see that. I like that it's just all right here. It's big enough and I can um, have, I can eyeball what it is that I'm doing. So headline, okay, we want a headline for our page. Let's do welcome to the team. This headline makes your content bold and bigger than regular text. If I were to click down here and say, we are so glad to have you. You can do text and I wanna show you the difference between the two. There you go. Now, I get a lot of questions about this. How do I get color? How do I make it have style? Well, I use Canva for that. So I just hop over to Canva and I will just click on something here. Let's click on it. And you can do um, photos or you can um, do your colors. You're going to have to play with that. I'm not going to go over Canva because it's a lot. I use Canva a lot in my business. Um, and that's how I make things pretty. But I mean, I've already got some things made up for you so you can see it. I am going to go over here and I'm going to upload one of my headlines. Okay. So I'm going to click on image and I've already pre-made this from when I did something for Memorial Day. I know Memorial Day is already passed. I can scroll this up to the top. I'm going to move it up to the top and say, I want that instead of welcome. And I deleted it. That is how I get my font and my colors that I want to make it pop. That is how I make it me. And that's one thing that um, I like when I'm doing these pages because it catches your attention. Um, say that you don't want your wording just to be typed out like that. You can also go and I have this. I did this for one of my pages. My name is Jen B. Uh, B. I am here to help you be the best you can be. So let's scroll that up. And we can delete that if you want, or you can leave it. Maybe you want it, but that gives it character. People ask me all the time, how are you getting those colors? How are you getting your font changed? It's just that I'm uploading images. It is as simple as that images. Um, video. Video is new. Video is super awesome. It's a little bit different than YouTube. YouTube is the actual YouTube video um, that you got to push to the button for. The video, as you're scrolling down, it'll actually start playing. I love that feature. I can't, I don't have a video here to show you, but let's just go. Um, I do have a screenshot of the video and let's just pretend that I have a video here. You can add your video. And then here, I'm gonna scroll down, add a video or a clip here. So maybe you're giving them a welcome. Maybe like you see me up here in the corner, I'm like, welcome to the team. I'm so glad you're here. And then there is your video on the page. So that way you can make it more personal. You could have maybe a cooking video on there, whatever your heart desires, you could put there. YouTube videos. I use this one a lot because I do trainings and I upload it to my YouTube channel. So, um, Instead of doing that and going and, and getting into all of my personal information, I have a screen uh, shot of one of my videos. Add your YouTube video here. What you would do is you're going to click it and you are going to type in um, your link. 
Okay, you guys should know how to do that. If you have a YouTube video or some type of link that you want to put here, you're gonna go copy that link and you're gonna paste it, click next, and um, it's gonna be a URL and then it will post there right where you see it. Um, buttons, buttons are on point now. They are colored, they are pretty, they're gonna give our, our page a style. What's up, Matt? Uh, what's up? Uh, the app, the um, messenger, telegram, phone, whatever it is you want. Like, let's do a phone number. I'm just gonna do a fake one. So don't think it's mine. Done. Uh, I guess it knows. Oh wait, I think I have too many. Okay, so look here. That is so pretty. I love the color. I love how it says, call me, get a hold of me. Um, PayPal, Venmo, you can do any of these things. Email. Um, let's type in the email. So when they click these things, they'll be able to contact you. I love pages. There's so many different things that you can do with pages. And I just, I absolutely love it. So, um, and I love the fact that they're colored now. You can uh, accept payments on there. When I'm collecting for um, a new release or something that has come out, I can have my Venmo information, PayPal, and they can choose the payment method that they prefer and just send it to me. And I just love that the fact that they are colored now. Um, that is not on the phone version. If you are on your cell phone, it'll just um, have you type in what it is that you want your button to be. You can type in your um, email links, whatever it is. It's not separated like this. Like if I wanted to do, let's see if this will work, amazon.com. I'm not even sure if it will, but let's just, for the sake of being able to show you, let's just see. Do, 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 visit my website and you can click it and it should take them. It takes you right to Amazon. Super cool, right? So love it. If you click on email right there, Jennifer Brandt, and you can send the email. Super, super convenient. I love it. Um, I'm not going to click on call me because it's probably going to try to um, call me. Okay. So Let's just say we're done now. We are done with our project. I'm gonna go up here to the upper right-hand corner and I am going to hit done. There's our page. When I click our page, this is what it looks like. Of course, it's not as pretty right now, but um, your guys's would be, I'm sure, amazing. Okay, so we have that. What else do we have? We've gone over folders, pages, text. Say you just wanna have a text in there. You can do hello there. Maybe um, you have something that you say all the time to your consultants under you or you sell homes and you have a welcome email or something and you have a verbiage that you say all the time. This is the place that you would do it. You would create some type of text and boom, it's there. That way you're able to just click it and then you're gonna share, like you're gonna be able to paste it to wherever it is that you wanna go. Um, you can do this within your mock parties or whatever. Let's just add an Im um, image here. Hello there. Um, so glad you are here. We're going to hit done. There you go. Say I say that all the time. But now I have it. So where instead of having to type it all out, it's already ready to go. I can click this. And then click, say I'm in a text message, and then I'll click in wherever it is that I have to go, um, and it'll paste there. I really like that. So, um, all right, images. You can just add images right in your board. We've already, I've already shown you some images from up at the top, but say you want it mixed on the outside of your boards. These are your folders and um, we have images in our folder, but you can also have them on the outside. Um, YouTube video, you can, you can drop a YouTube video in there. We're going to just pretend that we are doing it. So this is our YouTube video. But when you do that, again, I've already shown you, you just type in the link to your YouTube and it'll drop that video there. Um, links, you can do links. I just showed you on the page, but it's the same deal. You, I'm just going to do amazon.com because I know it works. Done. 
there you go. So now when I click that, it'll take, maybe you want to save links that you use for shopping or, or links that you use uh, for different references. You can drop them there. You can make a folder and drop all those references in a folder. Instead of it saying trainings, it can say links, um, convenient links. So Next, um, PDF, you can drop some PDF files in there um, and, and do that, but I'm not going to go into that because I don't want to show some of my personal stuff. But guys, boards is where it's at. It's super simple. You, there's so many different ways that you can use it. If you have an idea on how you use boards, let us know. Share it. We want to see what you have. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would be glad to help you. Reach out to me. You can private message me. Uh, post it on the um, right here in the comments of this video, and that's fine. I will get back to you. And I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you learned something from this, and I will have more to come. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.